For my daughter's safe return, you have my gratitude. Tell me, what is your name? I am Harkon, Lord of this court. By now, my daughter would have told you what we are. Not just vampires. We are among the oldest and most powerful vampires in Skyrim. For centuries we lived here, far from the cares of the world. All that ended when my wife betrayed me and stole away that which I valued most. I was about to suggest that very thing. Yes, you must certainly deserve a reward. There is but one gift I can give that is equal in value to the Elder Scroll. I offer you my blood. Take it and you will walk as a lion among sheep. Men will tremble at your... Yes, I can smell it on you. I will banish you from this castle. I will spare your life this once, but after that, you... Will you be a hunter? I am Hark. By now, my daughter would have told you, not just. For centuries we lived here. I was about... There is but... I offer you my blood. Yeah. The power of my blood. I will ban... Perhaps you still need convincing. Behold the power! I offer. Now, make your choice. Be still. Awake at last. Good. Power is growing within you, and now you must learn to wield it. With my guidance, you will become a deadly instrument, striking terror into the hearts of mortals wherever you tread. Now listen to my words and do as I instruct. The true power of the ancient blood is found in the form of the Vampire Lord. Assume the mantle of the Vampire Lord, and we will continue. this form, you can drain the life from your foes with your right hand. With your left hand, you can wield the power of blood magic to raise the dead. You can also call upon the powers of night to turn into a swarm of bats. Where'd you come from? I will have more to teach you. Good. You are weaker while on the ground because you cannot access the blood magic. However, the night powers are still yours to command, and your claws are still formidable weapons. Over time, your powers will grow in strength, and you will find new ways to use your gifts. There is much to learn. But if you master the powers of the Vampire Lord, few enemies will be able to stand against you.
there is one last thing you must know. Slaying mortal men with your life drain grants you new night powers. The Keeper Stable of Thralls in the castle should be able to find other places and pyres to stave off the... None. That is all I have to teach you. If you wish to be reminded of these lessons, I am above the petty squabbles here. I have lived for far too long to be bothered with them. Well, well. Where have you been, Vinka? I saw more than enough political maneuvering in my time in house dress. I was tired of it then. Tired of it now. Lord Harkon, remember your place. Now, what is our Lord's wish? Well, well. He wants the chalice then. You've heard of the Bloodstone Chalice? It is a rather well kept secret. The chalice has been in Lord Harkon's possession for quite some time now. It is when used properly, able to increase the potency of our powers. He has neglected using it for ages. If he wants it filled now, then grander things are afoot. This is good. Follow me. I'll take you to it. If you'll excuse me. Excuse us. I need to fetch the Bloodstone Chalice. The Chalice? Why? What are you up to, Garan? Lord Harkin's orders, Ortheof. Calm yourself. Our friend here has been ordered to fill the Chalice. Really? Indeed. He's off to Redwater Den. Well then, best of luck to you. Bengalmo and Ortheolf are Harkin's primary advisors. I'm sure they're quite surprised to learn that you're taking the chalice. And here we are. Now, this chalice needs to be filled directly from the bloodspring that is the source of Redwater Den. But that's not enough. Once that's done, the blood of a powerful vampire needs to be added to it. Keep in mind that Redwater Den has fallen into... Well, let's just say less reputable members of society now dwell there. It's your choice whether to attempt to deal with them, or force your way through. Hurry back. You don't want to keep Lord Harkon waiting.
Hey there, friend. If you're looking for a fix, you're at the right place. Just head on down the trap door. Someone do something. Hold it. If you're going downstairs, you keep your weapons to yourself, or we'll be getting better acquainted. Head on in, and behave yourself. Your skin's as Serious? This is the Redwater Den, purveyors of the best skooma outside of Balmora. Since it's your first time, sure, find a booth. <coughs> What was that?
So why don't you just drink the blood from the spree? I mean, that seems easier than running a schooma den.
It's really too bad, you know. The little accident you had here. Completely unexpected. Yeah, too bad. Lord Harkin's new favorite. Dead so soon after joining the family. We're just lucky I was here to return the chalice to Vingalmo so he could make sure Harkon gets it back. Wait, what? That's not what we agreed. We take it back together. Idiot. You didn't really think I'd let you walk out of here either, did you? Vingalmo wants you both dead. Well, that's just fine. Ortheon told me to finish off anyone who got in the way. Don't look <laughs> eyes you got. I st well, of course they did. Welcome to the politics of Lord Harkon's court. Vingalmo and Ortheolf both long for our Lord's throne, but cannot make overt moves against him. Each sought to gain power by using his underling to kill you and keep the chalice for himself. By ensuring the chalice reaches our Lord, you have increased his power over them and at the same time, deprive them of their little pets. You've done, Lord Harkon, two great services. Take what you've learned to heart, 
and be careful who you trust. Now, I believe that Lord Harkon wishes to speak with you. I am above the petty squabbles here. 